Hello everyone. Are you curious about whether there are any plants that grow in Antarctica? Let's explore. Antarctica, often considered one of the harshest environments on Earth, is known for its extreme cold, strong winds, and barren landscapes. However, despite the harsh conditions, a few species of plants have managed to establish a presence on the continent, albeit in limited numbers and specific habitats. One of the most well-known plants in Antarctica is Antarctic hairgrass, a hardy grass species that is native to the region. Antarctic hairgrass is found primarily on the Antarctic Peninsula and nearby islands, where it forms dense tufts or mats in moist, sheltered areas such as stream banks, lake shores, and bird nesting sites. This grass species is adapted to the cold climate and short growing season of Antarctica, with a slow growth rate and the ability to withstand freezing temperatures and strong winds. Moreover, Antarctic hairgrass plays a crucial role in stabilizing soil and preventing erosion in vulnerable habitats, such as coastal areas and exposed slopes. Its dense root system helps anchor soil particles and protect against the effects of wind and water erosion, making it an important component of Antarctic ecosystems. Additionally, other plant species found in Antarctica include mosses, lichens, and algae, which are well adapted to the extreme cold and low-light conditions of the continent. These plant species are often found in cryptic habitats such as rocky outcrops, ice-free areas, and snow patches, where they can take advantage of available moisture and nutrients to grow and reproduce. Furthermore, Antarctic mosses, such as Shastidium antarcticae and Ceratodon purpureus, are commonly found in moist, sheltered habitats such as rock crevices, lake margins, and moss banks. These moss species form dense carpets or cushions on the ground, providing habitat and food for a variety of microorganisms and invertebrates. Moreover, lichens, which are symbiotic associations between fungi and algae or cyanobacteria, are widespread in Antarctica and play a vital role in nutrient cycling and soil formation. Lichens are often found on rocks, soil, and other substrates, where they can survive in extreme environments with limited moisture and nutrients. Additionally, algae, including green algae, diatoms, and cyanobacteria, are common in Antarctica and are found in a variety of habitats, including lakes, ponds, streams, and snowfields. These algae species are adapted to low temperatures and low light levels, with some species capable of surviving in subglacial environments or beneath the surface of ice shelves. Furthermore, the presence of plants in Antarctica provides valuable insights into the continent's ecological processes and evolutionary history. By studying the distribution, diversity, and adaptations of plant species in Antarctica, scientists can gain a better understanding of how life thrives in extreme environments and how ecosystems respond to environmental change. In summary, while Antarctica is often thought of as a barren and inhospitable continent, a few species of plants have managed to establish a presence in this extreme environment. Antarctic hairgrass, mosses, lichens, and algae are among the plant species that can be found in Antarctica, albeit in limited numbers and specific habitats. These plants play important roles in stabilizing soil, providing habitat and food for other organisms, and contributing to the unique biodiversity of Antarctica. The goal of this channel is to answer all the questions in the world in video format. After we achieve it, when you search for anything on internet, you will be able to watch a video answering your question instead of reading an article. However, if we want to achieve our goal of answering 1 million questions, we need your help. Please support us on Patreon by using the link in the description. In exchange, we will feature your name in up to 1000 videos every single month. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, follow the channel for more related content, and see you later. Goodbye.